What's going on you guys? As you guys can see, I'm not in my house right now. I'm on vacation with my family. I packed my Total Gym G1, which was good, but the bad thing is I made a crucial mistake and I did not pack not only my attachments, I usually don't pack my attachments, but I forgot to pack my handles. So it initially turned into a gigantic mistake, turned out to a really cool function and feature I just discovered with the Total Gym and that you can still get an awesome workout utilizing this equipment without even having any handles and just maximizing the glide board and the glide of the machine. So I actually did get an awesome workout with the Total Gym with no handles up here on this balcony, which I will link in the description box if you guys do wanna check it out. So once again, this video is gonna be demonstrating even at the most basic level, these Total Gyms or Saudi Men's Trainers are still superior resistance training machines with their seemingly limited design. So in this video, I wanted to highlight just the unique qualities of just the sliding bench feature alone that allows you guys to get effective workouts working your whole entire body on these machines. Now I did incorporate a couple exercises off the machine, including uh, one exercise that's utilizing my weight vest. I happened to kind of pack that in the car. And I just so happened to actually pick up a package I got at the post office before I went on this vacation from this company, Bear Grips. Usually don't accept like free promotional stuff to do a review on, but you guys have been asking a lot about just some supported gear for, this, for the Total Gym. And uh, this company is based in the United States out of the Northeast. They make some quality products, they get good reviews. And so they sent me some stuff and it just so happened, like I said, this actually turned out to be a godsend. Uh, and you guys will see in this video, they sent me their uh, Bear Grip Shield Gloves. Um, but I'll talk more about these specifically at the end of the video if you guys wanna jump to that. I will put links to these and everything else using in this video in the description box. I'll put some timestamps down below as well if you guys wanna check that out. Uh, but as always, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing this content if you guys find this at all helpful. But just as I was getting really pessimistic about what I was going to do with this machine as I was up here, since I had no handles, um, the thought kind of occurred to me, I tried breaking down like the exercises and just movements, I should say, on the machine, which is, I encourage a lot of you guys to do, which is like, don't look at this machine of like doing like necessary, like specific exercises, but break down your workout session through more so through movement patterns. So I started kind of thinking of like, well, what kind of pulling stuff can I do? And I realized, okay, I can do my tried and true, like face down, you know, pull-ups, which a lot of times I do without even having the weight attachments in. It's a little more cumbersome with the G1 model because it's not as comfortable to kind of grab out with your hands. Uh, luckily, that's where these kind of grips came in because these are actually kind of padded. I'll talk about this later, but these have a padded grip, which came in handy for a number of things. Uh, so that was a good thing. So I knew I could kind of more or less get like the pull-up type motion down through different grips. Then I thought about like, well, I got this tower. I could even do like some centered grips or some centered rows. Uh, from that angle. So I already kind of had like my back exercises covered, also considering that if I'm doing any kind of a pull, I'm also knowing I'm gonna be working my biceps as well, even though I don't really have a whole lot of variety of access to just different bicep exercises. Although you guys are seeing here that I did actually incorporate into this kind of circuit, I started picking up my weight vest and just started doing bicep curls, which actually felt really good. This is a 40 pound weight vest. Again, I'll link this down below. I love this weight vest, it's very, very multi-purpose. And uh, I would say those curls actually came in just felt really good and those came in really handy, especially again with these grips. And then I started thinking about just push related exercises or pushing movement patterns. And I know in the inverted press, certainly I could do those because a lot of times when I do travel and I throw, throw my total gym into the car, uh, nine times out of 10, I don't pack attachments. I like to just do my inverted presses just to that bottom uh, base. And I've been doing that recently in my outdoor workout. So I knew I could do that for like my shoulder exercises. But then I realized, okay, I definitely can't do my tried and true, you know, nice basic chest press, which is like always like my first exercise I gravitate towards when I do a workout. Uh, but then again, I started thinking about it that, you know, really my, my number two and number three exercise that I like to do on this machine, you could say maybe like three and four, because I do like doing the inverted uh, like Pilates bar push up, would be just doing a standard kind of push up on the glide board, usually with the weight bar attached. I didn't have that, uh, but just doing a basic push up. So just doing some really basic push ups. I'll talk about this maybe in a future video, but I have a certain way of doing push that to me, I feel a lot more in my chest instead of kind of pressing straight down, I'm kind of pressing almost away, trying to think about squeezing on the inside as I'm doing that press. So I just more or less thought stuck to like basic pushups, but then I also realized I certainly could go on and do my uh, incline or elevated pushups on the machine. So I thought as long as I can do pushups, you know, pretty much that's okay and that's good. So once I realized again, we got those, we got the rolling mechanism going on, I figured, okay, they can do a lot of, a lot of core stuff. I started including the jackknives into this workout. Um, I could have done some pikes if I wanted to, but I just stuck to jackknives and then I incorporated just some of those abdominal rollouts, like the ab roller equivalent on the Total Gym. Uh, very underrated exercise, one I didn't do enough, but there's actually a couple different ab exercises you guys could do without having the cables attached and no handles, like just holding like um, leg lifts and holding onto the top of the machine as well. So essentially my whole upper body is covered at this point. Now we're talking about the lower body, didn't have a squat stand, 
Uh, but with that being said, you know, there's definitely some lunging you could do. I certainly could have done some body weight squats with this weight vest. Um, I just didn't do that. But I went back to this new exercise I've been showing you guys in some recent videos. I love this one. Um, it's, I don't know what I initially would kind of called it, but basically it's kind of doing a lunge on the, on the back part of the machine, depending how you're looking at it. So I put like drop step lunges on this. I really like doing a lunge like this, as you guys are seeing in this video, because I've said before, it takes a lot of stress off the knee and actually puts a lot of emphasis on the hamstrings and glutes. I didn't weight it down for all these exercises. I could have weighed it down with the weight vest, which is actually a nice little added benefit. So this workout would be perfect just for like an outdoor or just travel workout if you guys got a weight vest. Uh, I just opted not to. I just kind of upped the rep range as you guys will see in the description box for the workout. I just made the rep range a little bit higher and just kind of going through this sequence for a number of rounds felt really good. So love this leg exercise, kind of really dials in the tension where I want to feel it, which again is hamstrings, glutes, certainly feel it in the quadriceps, but takes the stress off the knees as long as your foot's really flat. Also allows you kind of hold on really comfortably to the top of the, uh, the tower there. And you can really fit this exercise to your needs and your height just based on how you want to set the incline setting. Now, I didn't necessarily have to do this many exercises, but as you guys can see, I did a number of exercises and I did a number of rounds. I actually think I kind of lost count in the number of rounds I was actually doing, but I was out here for a while. I started having a lot of fun. Um, got a great kind of pump out of this workout. I really felt the whole body being worked. Like I said, covered all my bases from the upper body to the lower body, uh, even the core midsection. There was more things I could have done, but I thought honestly, this just covered all my bases here. So again, this is just one of many examples why this machine is just so awesome. Even without its handles, just how versatile this thing is. Even if this thing was simply just a machine that just had an incline setting and had some rollers on it, this thing would still be awesome. I think I'd still pick this thing up because there's still so many things you can do with it. So if you're like a calisthenic enthusiast and you just want to train your body part and you see people have like these like elaborate setups you can buy to like bring outside and like these these makeshift pull-up bars, like dip bars and stuff like that. To me, if you had a side mesh trainer that you just want to take the handles off, even take the cables off, that just made it easier, it may or may not, but something like this, you threw this in the back of your car, you can go to your local park and just go to town on this thing, just utilizing the glide board feature alone, I think is really awesome. And I think I might do this honestly in the future, in, in the future because I had such a great workout with the rollers that it was kind of liberating and again, put me back in that flow state like I've been talking about, even in that, pe that previous video where I was just really in the zone looping through these exercises and they all felt awesome. And then kind of going on that same point, if you're just kind of traveling and you want to pack minimal stuff, I'm not saying not to pack your handles because that's pretty easy to kind of throw that in there, but if you're just looking for like some really basic stuff, I mean, just uh, you don't have to throw all your attachments and all your you know stuff into your car. Uh, notice I don't bring my squat stand, but even this, like, yeah, I'd probably throw my handles in there, but if it is easy to like detach the cable, I might even use like one of my old sliding mesh trainers, just have it detached, just use that rolling mechanism and just throw it in the car, like I said, and if I'm gonna travel or like go to like a local park or something like that, uh, this is an option for you guys as well. But definitely what came in handy were these uh, bear grip gloves. These are called their shield gloves. Again, I'm linking these down below. You guys can check it out. Um, honestly, when I opened these, I didn't really, I thought they were kind of cool. I mean, they definitely have a versatility if like you're, especially if you're using like, um, if you're doing pull-ups and certainly like that, but also uh, things like resistance band work where you get an extra pair of gloves. I've talked about that. These have these like a minor kind of gel padding. And so they feel like, again, they feel really comfortable. They seem like they're pretty durable, definitely breathable. So at the time I was recording this, it was very hot. So that was one thing. Um, this little, you can't really see it, but this index finger actually is, says it's responsive to touch screen. And I can confirm that because I was actually going on my computer and on my phone uh, and touching using the touch screen. And that's, this thing actually worked out good. So very handy, kind of useful, functional feature of having this, if you guys like at your phone or something like that. But this thing really just kind of saved my hand just for kind of getting on, not just the grip part of it, but just like the, just the little bit of a comfort, just doing things like push-ups on this hard wood deck here, uh, avoiding things like getting splinters, because this thing is definitely prone to getting splinters where I was doing push-ups here. So the fact that I just happened to have these things with me uh, was really like definitely a good thing. It definitely makes like the workout. So I'm sure you guys are going to see me use these things in the future, definitely for like outdoor workouts. So it's just a little bit extra comfort on your hands. It would be cool if they were like kind of padded up here, just so you can kind of do like some knuckle push-ups as well. But uh, these things are really cool. I didn't, I didn't have really big expectations for these. So these things, like, compared to all the things they sent me, which I'll talk about in the future, um, these are definitely definitely very useful and functional things I'll use in the future. Uh, but that's really it, guys. Just really quick brief video here while I was on vacation. Had an awesome solid workout. Out. Uh, just again, once, once again, telling you guys these machines, I can't think of anything else that's out there. Uh, no other equivalent machine piece of resistance training that does this much. And now this has even set the bar even higher for me uh, as far as just getting awesome, uh, functional, great workouts while I'm traveling. Definitely surpasses resistance bands. Um, that's my personal opinion. Yes, they're a lot bigger than resistance bands, but if you got room in your car, 
and you guys can fit these things in a lot of small vehicles. Actually, someone recently asked me that question if they could fit them in a Jeep. Uh, you guys could fit these things in most cars if you're kind of flexible enough with like putting your seats down and uh, stuff like that. So uh, that's it, you guys. Any questions, comments, feedback, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.